Hello everybody! Watch this video for a brief overview of a NAS storage system QNAP TS412. I'll cover the main functions provided by this model and explore its basic configuration. Hello friends! If you need to recover deleted data, view or restore removed browsing history, Hetman Software Products will help you. Follow the link in the description, download the necessary program for free, install it and analyze the disk. The utility will show you the data you can recover, so you'll be able to view it or get it back. In our channel and blog you will find solutions to any problem, from installing an operating system or configuring it to fixing possible bugs and errors or optimizing mobile gadgets. Our specialists will answer any questions you ask in your comments under the videos or articles. This NAS server, QNAP TS412, is the version with 4 drive base. There are over 50 similar models in the QNAP product range, and it takes a while to decide which one you'd really need to buy. This small-sized, low-end NAS server is a good choice for a small office or home-based storage system. The design is quite good and functional. On the front panel, you can find 4 convenient drive base for hot-swapping your disks. The LED indicator array to display the service status, the power button and another button next to the USB drive. It is designed to enable quick backup of data from an external device plugged into that port or onto such device. On the back panel, there are two eSATA ports, two gigabit Ethernet ports, three USB ports and a power connector. The hidden reset button can be located in the upper corner. With this server, you'll be able to store all your data in one place. Synchronize all your devices, computers, tablets, phones with a single storage system. Accumulate large amounts of photos, videos and music and share it with your friends. Watch movies or home videos, manage the server both from your computer and your phone. The list of integrated features can be extended by using more than 80 different apps. This NAS system supports work with a single drive, several drives combined into a JBOT or disk arrays like RAID 0, RAID 1, RAID 1 plus 0, RAID 5 and 6, as well as ISCSI protocol. The current drive status is monitored with a smart technology. Also, you can configure a regular disk check checkup, temperature monitoring and other things. The initial setup for this model is pretty simple, and it enables you to install the system without using the CD. Just visit the website start.qnap.com and follow the directions to set up your new system. The automatic setup is a convenient option that lets you configure a NAS with recommended settings in a quick and easy way. All the settings can be modified at a later time. For initial setup, download and install one of the special utilities for device identification, for example, QFinder. The utility will help you identify the service IP address. After that, type the IP address into the address bar of your browser or select the identified device and click here to log in. The program warns you that the server is not initialized yet and suggests that you do it. Click Yes to agree. After that, you will be redirected automatically to the QNAP Quick Setup page. Click Start to download the latest firmware, wait until the server is initialized and the new firmware is installed. You can change the system language if necessary by clicking the button in the upper right corner. To continue with initialization, stop the Smart Installation Guide. In the next page, give the NAS name, administrator's password and click Next. After that, set the date and time. Configure the network settings, obtain an IP address automatically or specify a static IP address. In the next page, you can enable the cross-platform file transfer service if you are planning to use this storage system to exchange files between devices running different operating systems. Now it's time to select the disk configuration. 
If more than one disk is available, a RAID storage system can be created. In the last page, review the settings and click Apply to save them. A window appears with a warning that all the data on this disk will be erased. Click Confirm to agree. Wait until the settings are applied. That's the end of the initial setup. Click on this button and start managing your network storage system. Click on the login button, type the username and password. Here are the features you can access. Create a personal multimedia world by using Photo Station to back up your pictures or using Music Station to build your music library. Also, you can manage and share your videos with Video Station, configure Download Station and set up the DLNA media server to stream multimedia files to TVs and consoles. Try the VPN service to connect to over 70 server locations around the world. And configure your own cloud storage. There is an easy way to sync files between multiple devices. Just drag the files to a folder, and they will appear on every device connected to Turbo NAS. In the App Center, there are all kinds of other services, and you will certainly find one or two that can be very useful for your purposes. If you download a special mobile app, you'll be able to manage the services from your phone as well. Download the QManager app to manage your server from your smartphone. Use it to access the server from anywhere in the world as long as there is an internet connection. This app is available for both Android and iPhone. It features a convenient resource monitor to display the system status and disk condition, the CPU and system memory load, the amount of free and used disk space, and other information. With this app, you can access Backup Station to backup your data and use other convenient features like Reset, Update, Shutdown, and Search. View system logs to see all events and important warnings, and the connection log. Enable or disable system tools, install any applications listed as available. The private cloud is probably one of the most important features of the storage server. To enjoy all of its benefits, you need to install and launch the special app MyQNAP Cloud. You don't have to configure your router or set to set up a cloud store. QNAP will do it automatically. Just click Get started here and then Start. If you don't have a QNAP Cloud account yet, you can create it in a single click by using this link. Fill in the form and sign up. Then type your email address and the password to your QNAP Cloud account and click Next. Type the device name, check the boxes for the services you need, and click Next, and the device will be registered. When the registration is successful, click Finish. 
As soon as applications are installed, you can connect to the server from any device with an internet connection using the global IP address. Just copy the link and paste it into the browser. Type the name and password and log in. Now, you can manage the server without having to be in the same network with it, and you can upload data from virtually anywhere in the world. To synchronize data, open the FileStation app. Select a corresponding folder from the list or create a new one by clicking on the icon Create Folder. Then click Upload, select the files of folder you want to upload, give the path to this folder or file, select it, then click Open and OK. When the upload is complete, it will appear in the selected folder and will be available to all users of this server. Also, you can share uploaded photos or videos by clicking the Share icon. You can choose between sending them by email, uploading to a social network, creating a share link, or sending them to a particular NAS user. To add more functions, you can create a remote mount. The remote mount service uh, lets you use a unified interface to manage files stored on local, external, and remote devices, as well as on cloud services. It supports Google Drive, Dropbox, OneDrive, and various network protocols like CIFS, SMB, and FTP. To connect to cloud services, download the Connect to Cloud Drive app from the App Center. With all that, QNAP TS-412 lets you do much more than just store files and manage access to them. Its basic firmware provides about a dozen extra services, and quite a lot of them are available for download from the QPKG Center as ready-to-use software packages. For example, iTunes Server lets you organize a network media library to play music from the multimedia folder on the server. DLNA Media Server allows you to stream multimedia content to DLNA devices, Apple TV, and Chromecast. Multimedia Management helps you to manage all media library settings. With Web Server, you can use your NAS for working with websites including those using Joomla, PHP, and MySQL or SQLite, and creating interactive websites. LDAP Server provides access to various network drives. SQL Server lets you manage the server with the special tool phpMyAdmin and save program files to a shared folder uh, like web or qwebnas. Syslog Server helps you to store logs from network devices and view received system notifications. The antivirus option can be used to set up scan, removal, and quarantine settings, as well as notifications about files infected with viruses or other elements that may be dangerous for normal operation of your device. Radio Server is the option to provide centralized management of authentication, authorization, and reporting on any computers trying to access the network and use the network services. TFTP Server helps you to access network device management and remote network booting and use the server as the storage for system images or recovery files. Backup Station is the tool to set up the network storage as the server for backup, remote replication, cloud backup, or external backup. Download Station is the web application that allows you to download files from the network with the help of BitTorrent protocols, magnet links, and others. HTTP, HTTPS, FTP, FTPS, Shanley, FlashGet, QQDL, and Baidu Cloud, and get subscribed to RSS channels. PhotoStation is actually a network-based photo gallery. 
to help you organize photos and videos stored on the server and share them with others on the Internet. You can just drag the photos to virtual galleries, and it saves a lot of time. You would otherwise have to spend on copying and transferring files. Music Station is there for playing music files stored on your NAS server, listening to radio stations online and sharing music with others. All music files are arranged by categories. Your NAS server also includes an integrated VPN service that allows users to access the storage and other local resources over the Internet. Summing up, this NAS model is a multifunctional server suitable for creating a large volume storage system, and it can be a good choice for using at home or in a small office. Thanks to a wide range of supported network protocols, it can be used with almost any operating system. This is a network-attached storage, which is at the same time powerful and easy to use, and it can perfectly meet your expectations in terms of storage, backup, and remote data access, as well as uh, coming handy for all kinds of entertainment purposes at home. With your own cloud infrastructure, you will always be able to access your files and manage what is happening to them and when. And that is all for now. Hopefully this video was useful. Remember to click the like button and subscribe to our channel. Push the bell button to receive notifications and never miss new videos. Leave comments to ask questions. Thank you for watching and good luck.